wildlife expert and safari guide Jean Duplessis is in the spectacular in Gorongoro Crater. He's searching for an old tusker elephant that some fear may have died. He's an important animal, one of the last few remaining big tusked elephants that remain in Africa. While Jean has been looking for the elephant, he has come across two of the most prominent predators on the crater floor. As Jean is watching the hyena, several of the animals with blood on their fur head off into the distance. This can only mean one thing, the hyena are feeding on a kill. It's one of the coolest sightings I've seen in many years. It seems like what happened was these two male lions must have chased a buffalo. They didn't quite kill it, and it went for refuge in the water and died there. And these hyenas must have seen what was going on, and now they are literally diving under the water, completely submerged, to take mouths full of meat. These two male lions are just lying on the edge. Uh, basically looking at their food, going for the hyenas. Lions and hyenas. Normally, the two species battle over food and often steals each other's kills. But Jean finds the two species showing some unusual tolerance for one another. While Jean has been focusing on the situation between the lions and hyenas, something incredible happens. This huge elephant we've been looking for the last couple of days just walked right through the scene. I mean, where in your life have you seen something like this where you have these hyenas in the water, two male lions, and this the biggest elephant in the crater, probably in Africa, walked right through this picture. It's, um, it's incredible. Got the most amazing tusks. This must be one of the largest elephants remaining in Africa, and especially the size of his tusks. They are well over 120 pounds each, and perfect symmetry. It's um, very, very rare to see an elephant like this. And there must really only be a handful left in Africa. And this is one of the last of a kind. The gene of big tuskers are getting less and less, and it's going to be many years before elephants like this are out in the wild again.